Hello everyone, welcome back to Altria's Plays Dead Cells. I've just done the daily, which means I have a blueprint to make good use of. Um, I also have a run where I have to either shoot things from afar with a weapon I actually quite like, or hit things up close with a weapon I kind of don't. So I think that's basically uh, Obson's choice. We're going to be shooting things. Why is that there? Uh, which means we might want to go for not a brutality run, although we do end up pivoting irrespective of what we do. I think one thing this game might uh, benefit from, although I don't... I'm going to say this now and then rethink it later when I have taken Alpha into account, but I think it might benefit from a respec. Uh, I mean, it has a lot of respec in the community. <laughs> that wasn't smart. Um, so that when you have taken a huge number of these scrolls here. You can respec your um, mutations, but not the scrolls that you've taken, which is a problem because eventually you the only option you have is to take something that doesn't suit your current build, right? Take that. So that's now, i.e. I can get to the end of the game with um, a spec that doesn't really suit the weapons, or I can get to the end of the game with a weapon I've been having or keeping hold of since the start of the game because I don't know what to do with it. Um, because it's the only one that's any good, and I chose my scrolls and every single subsequent scroll on the scroll well, on simply the basis that could take that unit. Okay, let's try it. We've done it once. We might as well do this every time we can because we keep screwing it up. <laughs> we need some practice. Um, on the basis that I'm going to get a better version of this weapon, which often I don't. So, I mean, the more we unlock, the more likely we are to... Uh, I'm kind of okay with what I've got because I'm not too much au fait with this new uh, melee weapon, even though it's slightly better than the previous, previous one. Um, right now, I believe the game would benefit from the opportunity. Did you got anything there? To um, allow me to change. It doesn't count as against the wall. Uh, the colours I've chosen so that if I never actually get a better weapon, I can at least pivot to. Mm, might actually be slightly better because it does dam extra damage under the same circumstances plus uh, interrupts them which is actually super good I think that's alright you got anything for me? yes this is going to be fun I didn't have the opportunity to dodge nice be super helpful if you could do me the benefit. Wait, do you have to finish it off with this uh, this thing here? Hold on. Use this honored enemy transformed by the hunter's grenade that has less than 40% health left. Too much HP. One more. I can't kill it. Ow. I have to do it at the right time. Got it! Yes! So that's how that works. You have to make sure you're capable of beating an elite. Beating an elite. Beating an elite. That was to the tune of Drop It Like It's Hot by whoever the hell did Drop It Like It's Hot. Um, and then you do. So, Wait, you only get to use your Hunter's Grenade once. Ah! So you pay all that money and you get one extra blueprint because now my Hunter's Grenade has gone away. Interesting. All right. Uh, in Alpha... There's an incentive to do better in different ways, but I don't think it necessarily solves the problem that you can go through the entire game, in theory, not necessarily in practice, with the equipment that you started with because you never get anything that you might consider to be an upgrade. Except for, obviously, if you upgrade literally the uh, weapon that you started with, it counts as an upgrade. It's not 
ever going to get hella better than that. And we have already... I was going to say we've already won. That's a very Isaac mentality. But this is not like just getting guppy on Isaac. This is still involving... going to involve some skill. I didn't sell that bow, actually. Maybe I should have. Heh, whatever. I don't want any of those anyway, and that's good, because I can't. So I don't think in Elf that they've really addressed that concern, but I don't mind too much. It just means that when you get to the late game and you've... I think the other reason why you want, might want to respec, which is something that has been brought up before by people smarter than me, or at least people who have read more articles than I have, when you get later on in the game, I think we've heard... Do I need something? I do need something. So we might as well take the first shield. Blocks attacks and bleeding. Don't really care about shield. Um, as you get later on in the game, ooh, five cells left. Let's put five in here because there's six on that. You find that the stuff that you've taken is no good, <laughs> basically. Cool, because it doesn't suit the boss. You can't ready yourself up for one boss. I didn't mean to do that, but it's okay. I really wanted the bleeding or poison the sadism one. That's okay. Uh, and then you get through that boss, past that boss, and then there's another boss, and you see? That boss is different. Which makes it harder. So we don't do that anymore. Um... We need a way of sort of allowing us... Because you can redo your mutations, absolutely. But why... Mutations only really benefit if you have a certain build that is suitable to the mutations. So that the mutations are spec'd towards a... Uh, wow, that's actually really, really good. Mutations are spec'd towards a, 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 a colour, basically. They're, they're designed for one of the three areas of improvement. Stats, that's a good word. So if you change the... Currently, for example, I only have four options for a reputation. This is no fun. Oh, we should do this. Oh, you've got him away, you plonker. Why did you climb up there? <laughs> Sorry for shouting into the microphone, but that dude's a dick. Wow. Wait, I thought these stopped you from turning around. What happened to that? Hmm? What happened to that? Come on, then. Bite your legs off. Why is this happening? Did you see that? That was just a nightmare of just... Things in my way. I tried to throw the stun grenade twice at the elite, which would have been perfect. And his ads got in the way both times. I'm complaining. I am complaining. Because that was going to be a really good run. This is going to be a really good run as well. To hell with your bloody shield nonsense. I'm never using a shield again. <laughs> it's going to be a long time before a shield run becomes a good idea to me. I'm okay with this new ice thingy. It's not as good, I think, as the ice, as the frost blast. What's it called? Ice shard. But I can see how it has alternative uses. For example, it doesn't have any. It, I think it just can. It does damage anyway. You don't have to make sure that the enemy isn't uh, already slowed or frozen or anything. Plus, the uh, why are you just bad? You're a bad man, John Spartan. I can walk around in frozen water. What's wrong with you, losers? You losers. Let's, um... Let's go and kill this. Do you want anything to me now? Ha ha ha. Oh, money. Perfect. I didn't really end up with too much money at the end of the last run because I died... I want to say unfairly, and because I'm a whiny little gamer... I'm gonna. <laughs> this game, it's a, it's a roguelite, right? It's a roguelite. Which means some runs just gonna end in tragedy. I'm feeling it's gonna kill me. Battersea. Yeah. Which it did. And so be it. Infantry grenade. Fine. This is gonna be a red run. Funnily enough. They always seem to work out as red. 
It's like they uh, haven't put any thought into it. does seem imbalanced in this respect because every single run that I consider to be a good run has turned out to be a brutality run. This is interesting. I'm going to say no. And the reason is the Blood Sword can easily uh, synergize with mutation that I don't mind getting anyway, so I might as well get it, you know? We get another skill, which is fine by me, and then we will go up and see if we can find the way out. I'd... It might be nice to actually find the way out of here um, in time to get the time door, because I haven't done that in a while. Not this way. It's uh, possibly a little bit unlikely right now. Oh, he's done it. <laughs> Just have to get to the time door in two seconds. This is why I like the new alpha thing where the time door is actually right here. So if you make it out of the level... Oh, I lost a second just walking through the door. Thanks for that. Dick. Um, where's my new thing? Here it is. Powers, they're called. Um, it's right here. So if you do get out in time, you get out in time. It's, ooh, that's excellent. Burn is not great. That's that's pretty good. Okay, let's get this one where we've got the mutation synergy. The synergy that we need. I don't need it. Also, I would have got the other door. I notice I didn't pick up any scrolls in that floor. That's okay, actually. I kind of feel like it should be something to whinge about, but we got through it in decent time, and I think that's good enough. This will hurt more too. I would like it if it was a crit against <clears throat> um, frozen or slowed enemies, simply because then I know that it's happening. You get a, a nice effect for a crit, but you don't get a nice effect for just a plus 75% damage. Right, let's try this again without screwing up completely. And rest assured, I will probably replace this blood sword with the uh, basically guaranteed crit stabby thing that I had before. That's probably the time doors so I'm going to go there. Uh, if the option arrives, should the opportunity arise? Hi, hello. You're very slow as well, which is another gratifying thing. It's not just that they're slowed, they're heck of slowed. They don't have the tweened animation, which is interesting actually, because they do look like... I was going to say they look like 3D models, I think they look like uh, triangle-based models. They look like two-dimensional renderings of 3D models, which is weird because you'd expect them to sort of not be. Does that make sense? Guardian scroll. So we only get to pick one of these two anyway. It might as well be perps, because that does... Why do you keep grabbing onto edges? Somebody please tell me what I'm doing wrong. This guy will always grab onto an edge. I think this is the same problem that I have in Isaac, actually. I, there must have been some video game I played when I was a kid, whereby if you, <clears throat> my throat, my throat, if you uh, want to get somewhere, it doesn't matter if you're moving towards the wall or something, maybe like Zelda or something like that. I must have played it a lot, a lot, because now I seem to have trained myself that it doesn't matter if I'm holding a direction inappropriate to the one I want to go in, unless I'm... Uh, provided that I'm also holding the direction appropriate to the one I want to go in. So if I'm holding up and left, as long as I want to go left, it doesn't matter if I'm holding up, or rather vice versa. If I'm holding, if I want to go up, it doesn't matter that I'm holding left, right? So, well, okay. left, um. But what happens in a game like this and in Isaac and all these games that I'm now playing a lot of, um, in Isaac, if you're trying to walk into a wall, it will slow you down. You're... The velocity that you would have had, I think, if you were not walking into a wall, is maintained. And you only get to keep the component of it that you can actually do, i.e. the bit of you that's not walking into the wall. So if you're trying to dodge enemies and you're trying to walk sideways and you're doing it by walking into a wall, you're very much doing it wrong. And it seems to be the same in this. If I'm trying to go in a direction, I can 
I, I should be letting go of the other direction, or not pressing it in the first place and letting the game sort of take me on a ride on its own, because I, I don't need to be holding the direction button for the direction that I'm already going in or that you know, I've run out of, so I shouldn't be tempting it. I shouldn't be giving it the opportunity. This is interesting. I think yes. Get rid of that. Um, which is why he was grabbing onto edges and stuff, but often he just grabs onto edges because I want to be over there. <laughs> And I don't want to be that much over there, I just want to be more over there than it currently is, and it's not really being helpful. I'm going to avoid that. At least, because the last elite I thought was a douche. Mind you, could have something good for me. I suppose I need to use a blueprint extractor, that's um, one stage of the hunter's grenade, was that you have to use a blueprint extractor to actually get the blueprint out. Um, and so random elites are not necessarily going to contain a blueprint in the first place. I do appreciate that there's no cooldown on actual weapons. Not true of many games. I'm exploring, by the way. That's the only reason we're down here. I just want to see what we've missed. Ooh. That's interesting. Biters. Very high DPS. And we do have an ice grenade now, so yeah, can't sell that. Let's just use this. Wow, did you see that? Nice, good fighters. Come to Papa. Don't want this, sell it. They call it recycling, but I know what it is. It's just the capitalist market in full swing again. You don't have to sugarcoat it for me, bro. I know what you're doing. I do appreciate these enemies um, just waiting for me <laughs> when I'm doing silly things like hugging a sarcophagus. I don't think you have this infantry grenade as well. So can you not hit the bad? Or the me when you're a bad? Is this like. No, there's nothing, no, there's nothing special. <clears throat> I promise I will go and have a drink. I'm also hungry. I'm waiting for Jen to get back. No doubt she'll come in through the door when I'm a. Uh, at least expecting it. Good job, Bob. And then, uh, it's dinner time. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Busy. This will make me cook it. I have this problem with spaghetti. <laughs> and the problem is I'm an idiot. I, I keep choking on <laughs> I keep choking on spaghetti. I don't know why, okay? Jen's telling me that I never learned to swallow. Okay. When you finish taking that out of context. I don't see my food properly. Which, yeah, it's kind of true. Ah, uh, I don't need that. I, I don't. But, like, so? <laughs> it's never been a problem before, and all of a sudden I'm choking on spaghetti. What? So, like a child, <laughs> I have to have my spaghetti cut up for me because I can't be trusted to chew it once it's actually between my mandibles. Wow. I'm not going to explore anymore. I'm bored of this level, and so are you. Let's go. I think we're doing pretty well. We're pretty well. We've got a good kit out. We've got a colourless item, which means we can basically take what we want. Um, I assume that the problem with it not really letting you decide up front what build you're going to have, or re-decide later, is that you basically just um, end up with loads and loads of Coloured items, and also you get to give. Uh... I don't really want to reforge those. I think about it. Well, headphones, please. I'm trying to listen to this soundtrack. Um, guess plus this. Bite is fine. Whatever. I got my bite is back. That's important. Grenade's cooldown is also important here. Uh, I assume eventually you just start getting more and more colourless items and then it doesn't matter what you chose to begin with because it's, it's whichever was highest, so you can go for any build. Uh, maybe. It's really nice finding colourless items that would otherwise be the wrong colour, especially if you're trying to do something silly like play with shields. Uh, but I, I don't. I can basically guarantee that it's almost it's almost impossible that I will ever manage 
to find myself in a run where I've chosen something like purple instead of red because A, I will never choose purple instead of red because even, it's like, it's got to the point where even if I, uh, even if I start with nothing but purple and green items, I'm still not going to take purple and green. Wow, what? Hi. Well, that's interesting. Because this does the bleeding, and then this one gets the crit for being bleeding. I'm going to take it, because I have a feeling that we will end up uh, finding another way of activating that synergy, basically. Although right now, it doesn't seem that great. I understand. Is anything doing poison? No. So we want to basically find any elemental synergy that we can. Because the only one we have is ice, and this is the only one that doesn't apply here. Up there is an elite that I'm not going to fight because I don't need to, and you can't make me. Oh, nice. Appreciate that noise, by the way. I wish we had something like that for the roll. Yes, everything gets upgraded with this. Run away. Chickening out and buggering off. This ignores shields, right? Yes, but it didn't seem to do too much difference, so... I don't know about these whips. And that's the uh, actual whip, not the Frank Underwood. Frank Underwood. Type of whip. That's from House of Cards, and I've kind of watched like one episode and gave up on it. Why is nothing doing any damage? Why am I here just for this, which I do not want? Definitely going full on grenades. It's done as well in the past. But I would like. I really, really want to activate these synergies so that we can start you know, making the most of them. Without our bleed sword, which I think was doing a lot more DPS on top of what it looked like it was doing, simply because of the fact that it had bleed on it, um, which obviously has DPS associated with it. Um, therefore, we kind of have a lot of making up to do on something that wasn't really telling me that it had a... It wasn't telling me what the bleed DPS was, basically, so I was basing my decision on bleed DPS, but I didn't know what the bleed DPS was. Or else I wasn't basing it on the bleed DPS, I was basing it on the, basing it on the uh, not bleed DPS, which is the wrong DPS. Um, probably over explaining this, and you understand perfectly what I'm saying, but at the same time, I should really be using that. Uh, I have to say something, so leave me Okay, good. Let us move on way more quicker than we have been. That's actually decent. If you hit it enough times, it's decent. I would like it to have a synergy that we could then prey on, but it doesn't have to. It doesn't matter. Nice. Good. N nearly spooked myself because this is a grenade, but it turned out to be my grenade. This is good. It's got 10 second cooldown there. It's okay. I, I was very tempted to swap something out for it. It would have been the infantry grenade, because I think the ice grenade is necessary for as bad at the game as me. Hit you one more time, baby, and then you can do that. I'm not even going to activate you, Jokers. Leave me alone. Pick your battles. Not your nose. You can't pick your friends. Wait. You can't pick your family, but you can disown them. So don't worry about it. You know? There's options, that's what I'm saying. Die! Good. That was so much easier. Don't even think I need a sword. Just <laughs> let me do everything with this thing. Splash, but not too much of a splash. And kick. Fine, I will do this, because it's entertaining, and I'm here for my own, own entertainment as well as yours. And everyone likes watching me fail miserably at this. Is that Jen telling me she's on her way back? OMW, and she said that 2029. What is it now? Nobody knows. 2037. So she'll be back soon. 
So if this turns out to be uh, two episodes or an episode with a cut in it, and that was just terrible. That was alright. How about this? Alright, not bad. Not bad. Hold my breath. Stop walking. Stop walking. Stop walking. <laughs> ah, you see, that was a psych because I actually meant to continue walking. And indeed, that's exactly what I did. Don't like that. Okay, good. We have succeeded. And what did we win? I didn't even check. Burning. Ah, that will help us with our new sword. So we have actually managed to enable our elemental synergy that I asked for. Um, there's oil and burning at the same time, which is really good because now nothing can stop me now. If I do this, then this. Does that say? Bleeding or poisoned for crits and 100% for burninated. So, that's basically everything, right? Wait. So it burns the ground and covers it in oil. <clears throat> but then I seem to have... I guess the oil lasts longer than the burn. Which is not that great of a burn then, huh? Die. Good. Well done, I'm dying. Upon request. Die, 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 die. Oh, alrighty then. Stop smashing yourself down into the water, please. Which is not water. Well, it could have been. Once upon a time. I do kind of wish that my... Uh, my my whip had been a bow. Do I get anything? Message. Guards things. Yes. Dollar. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Nothing in there. Moving on. It's interesting that the, uh, the fort has areas where time pauses. How do you build that? Not real time. One thing that's always got me about time travel and time... I don't say travel, but like time time play sounds kinky. In uh, fiction, is that it always seems to allow time to stop and yet things to continue to happen whilst time has stopped. It reminds me of a Casey and Andy cartoon. That's, I mean, the whole thing is a cartoon episode, I suppose, where they build a time stop o matic because everything they built was an o matic of some description. Um, and that that really hurt. So you not do that. And uh, they push the button and time stops. And that's it. The rest of the comic is just frames of time being stopped. Because that's exactly what would happen if you stopped time. Time would stop. You can't expect it to sort of continue just for you. It's a little bit rude, isn't it? No, it's a bit entitled. Anyway, in the next scene, or the next episode of the comic, it's one of those semi-lazy comics where it was okay to just get away with doing nothing. <laughs> a whole comic and calling it comedy. It worked. The next uh, episode thereof, they, it continues again. And they went, it didn't work. They went, yeah. Rubbish, huh? Obviously it broke. It's funny. That was written by Andy... Um... Weir, same person who wrote The Martian, which then became a recent uh, hit film with that guy in it who played The Martian in The Martian. I can picture his face, but I cannot remember his name, even though. Is it Matt Damon? It was Matt Damon. What's Matt Damon doing in a film? No one wants to see that. I do want to see that, actually. I once asked him if I could use his one of his characters in my own webcomic, which I haven't done for years and don't look for it. Um, and he said, yeah. He was a decent stand-up guy, at least at the time. He says, based on exactly one, uh, one encounter with Andy Weir, which was basically of no cost to him. I mean, he didn't have to respond, right? He wasn't necessarily as famous then, because he didn't, hadn't, like written the Martian. Why did that smash attack not sufficiently burn the ground such that enemies are now on fire? Hmm? Is there like two 
I, I've noticed that there are different strengths of smash attack. Coming in or what? The water's lovely. If you like that sort of thing. Wow. <laughs> okay, well done. <gasps> hey, he, he, he may have just been more inclined to be nice to people. Well, maybe he's like that now. Maybe he's a massive racist. Who knows? Oh, we have to beat this joker. This could be the end of the lesson. Thank you for watching. <laughs> we will see. I'd like to get past this thing because I would like to... Oh, maybe the magnetic grenade is better for us. Maybe it's not. Let's not try. I did like the boomerang. Let's put all our cells into that so that we're much closer to having it on what will inevitably turn out to be a rubbish run later. Burning target we can do. Victims burn is not necessarily great. I don't know if that applies to everything. Bleeding target. Cause bleeding, please. I don't want to spend all my money, but I like might as well. I'm so glad <laughs> that didn't... Yes. I'm so glad that that didn't uh, become the last one I could do. I uh, might as well have melee. I don't know if... I guess melee will work... Melee will work on the tentacle section of this fight. Last time we did this fight, I played chicken with a tentacle and lost. And there was a lot of noise because I was upset. Rightly so. Rightfully so. Uh, well then. But I'm gonna try and do better this time. No one's told me how to do better, but I'm gonna try. It's probably got something to do with not being shit. <laughs> Can I manage that? Don't ask. Have that. Have that. That does extra damage, which is grand with me. So remember, what we're trying to do here is not roll unless we have to. So unless you particularly think that the uh, Dujima Jigs are going to... Ooh, that was terrible timing. Actually pop up underneath you, run past them. It's going to be much better for you in the short and long run. Nice. You do get plenty of uh, warning for that dash attack. The trouble is, um, I'm always in the air or something silly like that, so I can't make good on it. That's my problem. One more dash attack. There yep. Bam. The thing you got in the way. This does target enemies automatically, which is grand, actually. One more dash attack. Yep, let me check this, and then we can check this. Get as much damage in as we can before it becomes an issue, right? Really. So, whoops. I tried to jump, but I accidentally pressed the wrong button, so that works. So glad that I took the grenade mutation, honestly. It seems to have done wonders for me. Oh, I didn't see you there. Sorry, chap. Smidzy. Sorry, mate, I didn't see you. That was what I was told the person who uh, broke my wrist was called. So I've been using it ever since. Someone drove into me. It's uh, hard to say really that they drove into me. They didn't actually hit me. But they caused me to break. And the problem was I was in a position, I was in a, a circumstance, I should say, of bike ownership. What? Why did you just change? Um, in which I was not able to break as much as I would like. Sounds like an odd thing to say. Sure, I, I can tend to agree with you. Um, braking on a bike is you know, quite important. But the problem was that only one of my brakes worked, and it was the front one. The other one worked. It wasn't even that it didn't work. So I got so used to not using it that I, I forgot about it, basically. The rear brake, that is. Um, because... Hey, the hitbox on this is BS. Just saying. Hashtag just saying. We want to not be in the way of this dash attack. 
when it rolls back. That was not good enough. Uh, so I wasn't using my rear brake because what actually would happen was that it's not that it was broken, it would stop the bike perfectly well, it's just that it would get stuck. I've got hit fewer times just... Oh, let's throw that first. Um, standing there, I did try to dodge him. Um, uh, it would get stuck, so I'd have to actually stop and sort of prize it apart again. This is my old bike. It's doable. It is doable. Let it not be said that I have not managed to do it. Ever. Um. So. Uh, a car turned across in front of me, across the road, so. They were trying to turn uh, right from their perspective. And they just didn't see me. Sorry, mate, I didn't see you, Smithy. And I was like, what? <laughs> um, so I slammed my front brake on. Not ideal. Uh, because my front brake. If you slam your front brake on, just consider the physics of, of this situation, won't you? Ah, I see! The last time it happened, all these biters were helping me right out. So, uh, it means you just died again. That and that. Please. Oh, that's what happened last time, except I lost last time. Oh, that wasn't very good. Um... Consider the physics of the situation. You're not going to win if only your front brake is working. Did you just dodge my shot by charging at me instead? Uh, what's actually going to happen is your bike is going to. Your wheel's going to stop, but your bike is not. Let's just put it that way. Uh, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, neither did I stop that. Is. We're going to have to do this. Uh, if we need to heal, we're going to have to pick a very opportune moment to do so. Right now. So, I ended up flying over the handlebars. Now remember... Oh, don't move. It's not fair. Stay still. Stay still and take your punishment. Like a good boy. Attack me. No. Wrong side. Basically still considering that guaranteed damage. Shouldn't be allowed. Uh, and and I landed on my hand because I put my hand out, I guess. I'm saying I don't know how I landed on my hand. Kind of hurt though. And you know that was that. I I remember being so winded, and I've never felt so winded. You know, I've been winded at school by douchebags punching me and stuff, but never never quite like this. You know, it was a. I forgot how to breathe. I was lying there for several seconds, and it could have been only three or four seconds, but it felt like an age, you know? That's better. I, I literally could not remember how to breathe, which was a big deal because I needed to breathe in order to continue to stay alive, but I was in such shock, right? What's up here? We haven't been to the graveyard in a long time, so we should try it again. Slumbering Sanctuary, fuck. Ha! Huh. This is of nothing. Uh, I'm just going to put all my things in here because we see this thing so rarely that we might as well, right? And this guy, whatever, you've got my bloodthirsty shield now. I thought I had more shields available in here. Have I already unlocked this again? You've just given me the same... Ah, oh, bit rude. I'm not going to change my mutations. I'm happy with it. I remember lying there and I could see the tailpipe of this car, which I don't know if it was still switched on or not, but the thing is the car didn't hit me. I don't even think I ran into the car when I was braking furiously, you know. I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here, right? Because we tried it last time. Yeah, there's nothing up there. Um So 
It was a pretty terrifying ordeal, all things considered. Um, also, please can I have the thing back that killed slow down enemies? Back? Ow. Well done. I mean, uh, it did break my wrist, so <laughs> it's not like it was a walk in the park in the first place. But, uh, when I... I can't remember how I got... Right, the, we called an ambulance. Someone called an ambulance anyway. Oh, there's a time door. I'm not going to get into that. With that... I just genuinely thought I could jump over that in one go. Also, why did it hurt so much? That's a bit rude. Probably shouldn't have... Uh, probably shouldn't have tried that, to be honest. Yes, more mu brutations, please. The, uh... Because... Uh, there was an ambulance, and you see, the thing is, the ambulance chap said it's probably just a sprain. Oh, well, thank God for that. Why did that go over there? Die. Uh, uh, he was wrong. Because <laughs> when I got home, D was like, yeah, that's broken. <laughs> I'm like, no, not broke, because there's no brokey. Uh, because the last thing I wanted was a broken wrist. I tend to make use of my hands in my day job. Uh, then as much as I do now. On account of how I need to type to produce computer code. Which makes computers do what I want them to do. Or at least what I'm... Something similar to what I want them to do. Because depending on the language you choose, that's more or less achievable. Uh, in those days, it was very much unlikely to happen because the language I'd chosen was shit. I didn't choose it. It was uh, the job. But I was then, as I am now, in the situation where I have little to no choice about the uh, language I choose or the job I take. Even now, when I'm basically at the top of my game in, in, as a programmer, I have no real choice about which job I take, because they're all either low paid or, like, low morale, I guess, is the alternative. Toxic environments. I will do this first, then this. Then this again, because I can. I can start chucking these around. I can do that, perfect. See that triple whammy? I don't even know what hit me the first time. But now I'm stuck. <laughs> there was nothing I could do. And I've used all of my things as well. Do you know what? There's no point going this way. Where are you there? Because we're undoubtedly going to be able to teleport back. So, work is difficult to come by in a... Sort of an all-round correct manner, and I think a large problem with it is the fact that in the IT industry, if you're working for... There's basically two ways IT can go. One is... Ooh, that's really tempting. You know what? It's not. <laughs> not compared to that. One one is you can work for an for the sort of in-house um, IT department at a, at a firm. I don't know how to do this, by the way. Nice. And the other is you can work for a, a essentially a contracting company that has clients, and then your single company will produce software that multiple clients will buy. But, like, the second one of those is bad, but it's the way it's becoming normal. That's how the world works now. You software is outsourced. Thank you for trying. <laughs> I really appreciate that you're trying. Did we find a kebab perchance? Doesn't look like it. Just a shame. So it, it, what it comes down to is that now there's no recourse for a developer. They either have to work in a corporate environment that saps their soul. Where does that take me? Is it just up here? <laughs> is that the shortest long route ever? I think it might be. 
Where's the button that opens that door? It's on the inside of it. What? Oh, I see. It's one of those ones that you get like in the clock tower. Where you have to fight your way back from it. So you don't have to do it, but if you want to do it, you gotta fight your way. You gotta earn it. Appreciate those biters, by the way. Remind me what's giving me those? It's the ice grenade, so we do really want to do that. Oh, we have to do this because it's got a key in it. Nice. Bad. Hey. Teacher. Leave those kids alone. Nice. Did that hit you? Did that hit you? No. Did this hit you? No. This hit you. Yes. Why are there so many of you? I'm just going to keep checking these because they're actually doing a sh shitload of damage. Also, targets in water are covered in oil, which is actually really good because we have targets covered in oil. And we are covering targets in oil and not in the good way. Well, in good way, but not in the other good way. Interesting. It's a new one on me. There's two good ways and I'm doing one of them and not the other. Normally, I'm doing neither of them. It's always in the bad way. It's basically not in that sort of oil. <laughs> you pervs. Nice! Let's get this dealt with, shall we? Ha 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 ha. Wrong. That's what that noise meant. Uh uh. That was the uh uh noise. We can cover things in oil by stomping them, basically, is the uh, reason that's good. And then we can uh, zap them if they're still alive. We get to keep this key. And there might be a secret over here. But once he grabbed onto the edge and I wanted him to. <gasps> no. <clears throat> nice try, but no. Simply because what we do have is better. But we have to get through the rest of this blinking floor without taking any damage. Um, because we did so badly to begin with. And I say we, I mean me. I know I should own this, but at the same time, it's not my fault. Have you seen these enemies? They are OP. Okay, let's see if we can... Should I explore this way? I really don't know. Yes, okay. Architect's key. Okay, that's not... I don't know where that is. I think we've had this discussion before. Why at your point on her? You tried, didn't you? You joker. We found that treasure, didn't we? Yes. Alright. Moving on. Have to get through all this bit without uh, taking considerable damage from the fact that there's enemies right behind the door. And then we run, because that's going to hurt. And then we're going to wait for it. And we're going to stomp it, because I don't really want to use the grenade a second. Okay. Turning around, huh? Coward, is it? Can we just talk about what just happened? Which is that I don't know. Um, there was a certain amount of, why are you suddenly in the spikes? And I didn't really have time to really consider it after that. Suddenly you just decided to go on the spikes. I'm assuming you had a reason for it, but I don't remember requesting that behaviour. And anything that is unrequested behaviour, uh, I'm going to consider a bug. So that was basically a bug in something. Let me out. <laughs> this is all bad. Why are you allowed to shoot that far? This is what we do. I'm going to have to kill a lot of things just to make sure that I'm safe, which is super annoying. Okay. Because I don't want to get close to them. Although I am doing pretty well with just my grenades. This feels bad. I don't want to walk into a, an elite by accident. Oh, yo, 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 yo. You are trying, aren't you? It's actually slightly better. It's, oh, it's got the same... Yeah, okay. You convinced me. I would really like that shop to have been a health shop, but there you go. No Holland and Barracks around here. So we're going to wait for you. Because I'm, I'm not taking any chances right now. I 
appreciate these things being really slow because it means that I can. Oh, 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 please. Merciful God. Oh, architect's cube. Oh, architect's cube. Let's go all the way back and not take any chances. We are going to not walk on these spikes that I remember being there. This is so tense, simply because I'm so bad at this game that I keep ruining it. Oh, where? Uh. Merchandise categories. Interesting. So we still have to make it back. I warn you now, that's very unlikely. I don't think I need to explain why I don't feel that's hugely likely. But I'm going to go as carefully as I can. And basically hope for the best. Prepare for the worst, you know. Scouts. That went well. I like being above enemies and therefore being able to see them. Okay, that one's dead. Don't know how to get that. Probably not going to try. This is going to be the end of me because I am bad at these. Just going to go as carefully as I can and hope there's nothing on the other side. There is nothing. I am. <laughs> You've never seen me so cautious. Nothing there. Uh oh, what was that? Didn't appreciate the uh, random teleporty look. Yeah, no. Not on your Nelly, although I'm going to die anyway if I take a hit, so it might as well, you know, it might as well be worth it. Sure, why not? We've done this before, we'll do it again. If we die here, we die here, so be it. I know, we've got to kill ten enemies, which I'm hoping is the number of enemies between me and the exit. This is an interesting question. It doesn't give me the point in brutality. 20% damage taken, colourless. I'm going to say no. Thank you all the same. I, I don't know if it counts if they kill themselves, but I'm not going to try. So let's not worry about it too much. Appreciate all this fire. Eight. Seven. I'm pretty sure these don't count. No. Six. <laughs> as long as there's no... Uh... <laughs> no! You keep grabbing the flaming walls when I don't want you to. Oh, I'm so mad at this dude. Can you hear the salt in my voice right now? <laughs> I just want it to be out of the way. Controller disconnected, your mama. I just want it to be not there. <laughs> I got myself in the perfect position where there was no recourse. Alright, fine. I did it to myself. What do you want from me? Man. I was doing so well. All I needed was to not activate that Joker. <laughs> it would have been fine, but I activated him and then there was a thing and a thing and there was no room. Ooh, my new sword is available. Well, I guess I'm going to play with my new sword next time. Thank you for watching. I apologise I'm so bad at this game, but I hope if you continue to watch, I will continue to improve and I do look forward to all your suggestions as long as they are helpful and not just crude uh what am i doing wrong tell me how to fix this i will do everything in my power to improve and then in the next time in the next time in the next few times hopefully we will get somewhere better but until then again thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the episode and i will see you next time